Hello, today I am going to be showing you how to do a 180G turn, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to be able to do is a fake E, as you can see here in this clip. You'll want to have that down even before you try, otherwise you might help hurt yourself, so make sure you have that down first. Next thing on the list will be a flat 180 foot jam thing. You'll just want to jam your foot, throw your weight forward a bit, and turn. It'll come around. Make sure you learn this first because it'll make 180G turns a whole lot easier as you go to start doing them. Another helpful thing for the 180G turn would be a 180 bunny hop. You don't really need to know how to do them. They'll just help you out a lot because you'll be able to know how to turn and stuff. Next up, you're going to want to know how to get your back end up. It's not too hard, you just want to throw your weight forward. If you know how to do a bunny hop, you should definitely know how to do that. And then after you get that, you go on to the 180 G turn. For the 180 G turn, you will want to use all the things you have learned so far, getting the back end up and all that stuff. I tend to do more of a nollie 180, I guess you would call it, as I do to like go downstairs and stuff, as you see there, it helps. But first what you want to do is turn your head after you've carved, go over the bar some, push down on the bars, and then you want to keep your head turned, as you can see here in this picture and the next picture. Following this, you want to make sure to keep your head turned. It's good to help keep the rotation going. At about 160, I guess you'd call it, I tend to lift my front end up, just, I don't know, to help with the last bit with getting, twisting my legs to get the last of it around. And that's really all there is to it. Go out and try it. I hope you get it. Good luck.